hello there everyone and welcome to Ultimate General Civil War. Before we say anything further about this game, I want to go ahead and thanks, give a thanks to Mironis, which actually gifted me this game. So, uh, happy thanks to you, sir. And yes, Ultimate General. I've already played Ultimate General Gettysburg and I played that through... Uh, both at the Confederate and the Union for the Union side But this game however is a not a sequel, but it's in the same spirit made by the same uh, people and It's a more all-encompassing game and we can just see through here on the historical battles that we've got uh, uh, Quite a lot of them a bit triggered here trigger warning for all Confederates it says Bull Run, not First Manassas. What the deuce? We'll have to change that. Um, well, we, we, we win anyway, so... Well, we w win, I say, but... Uh, I usually play Confederate, so that's why. Um, but you can see you've got uh, Bull Run, Shiloh, um, Antietam, so quite a few. Since it's in early access at the current moment, I'm pretty sure they're probably going to add more. Uh, and they've got a campaign mode, and that is what I'm going to do today. So we're going to go ahead and start a campaign. It's going to go ahead and say something, I believe. A house divided against itself cannot stand. This government cannot endure permanently. Half slave and half free. And here comes the rebuttal. I rise, Mr. President. For the purpose of announcing to the Senate that I have satisfactory evidence that the state of Mississippi, by a solemn ordinance of her people in convention assembled, has declared her separation from the United States. And yes, there we have it. The Civil War. Right, so what you go ahead and do is you go ahead and set up your own sort of characters. You have these points you have you sort of build your character but you also build your army units as you fight along in these battles um, I have no real clue as of yet I've played it a little bit but I've no yet yet no like really good oh you need good like training is a lot better than logistics or army organization all of these give army organization um, but what they also add is reconnaissance so this will, uh, as we see here, for prepare, preparing a flanking maneuver. You have a graduate at West Point War Academy with specialization in tactics and learning that reconnaissance is key for preparing a flanking maneuver. So it's whether or not um, it's what you emphasize at your schooling at West Point. Is it reconnaissance? Is it training to train? As it says here, realize the necessity of hard training for an effective army. Or is it army logistics and recognize that war cannot be won without proper supply system. So these will add um, different stats that will help you out. Um, this training will give you a discount when buying veteran troops will go into that later if no probably not in this video actually and logistics will give you more supply because you actually have to um, be aware of supply in this in the Gettysburg one you could run out of supplies and you can refill it in this one you can refill it you have a little cart that you run around the field what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and be strategists so, yes, we're going to go ahead and select that. Then, we come on to this, the Mexican-American War. What did I do there? Possibly, I was an artillery officer, infantry officer, or cavalry officer. And all of these give different stuff. Artillery gives logistics and medicine. Medicine probably recovers uh, men that are killed during battle. Training, we get even more... Um, an even better discount on buying uh, veteran troops and we've got reconnaissance there 
I would actually mm, sort of want to test out because I never put a lot in reconnaissance. But uh, at the same time, you know what? I'm gonna go with what I tried last time around, and I'm gonna be a artillery general because, sort of, as part of my favorite generals like Napoleon and General Jackson, we're gonna start off. I, I believe Jackson did artillery, didn't he not? Hope, well, you can correct me. I probably need a lot as we try to converse the war here, but I believe I believe so. Um, so artillery, it is. Then on further career, once the war is over, did we go into business, army, or politics? So I'm not entirely sure what all of this does, but I'm pretty sure that I stayed in the army. Um, but I think economy and politics, uh, economy, probably gives you more money. Politics, not sure, but I feel as though there's probably is a politics side to this where if you do well on the battlefield that will sort of give you political gravitas which will probably allow you to rise through the ranks easier. Even though it might be a meritocracy, uh, everyone knows that's not really how it works, does it? Right. So we stayed in the army, and when secession came, I had to side with my home state of Sweden. No, uh, Virginia. Right. We're gonna go ahead, na namely, and create the same character that I have in War of Rights. Let's go ahead without bonus or penalties. So, uh, easy, normal, hard. We're gonna go for normal. So I have no politics, no economy, but I have a bit of medicine. I have good army training, or training, and organization, and logistics. Uh, units restored is 4%, given the medicine. 10% uh, extra ammo, I believe, for logistics then we got the training which ge it reduces the veterancy cost and army organization is probably the number of corps uh, or corps That's, I always say like it's a corpse like it's a dead person um, that we can field but I think we would have to put quite a lot in that or a bit more into that before we can field anymore and mean for none we have very little reconnaissance, but I can put point is that as we progress our character. So I'm gonna name him just as my captain in War of Rights, which is Jedediah. Let's see if I can remember how you spell that. Jedediah. Jedediah Long Tree. Jedediah Long Tree. Wait, what brigade? Uh, I was a brigadier. Brigadier General, was I? Uh, we'll use an advisor. We probably need that. Jedediah Longtree, it's ready to stand by the Confederacy. General, your first assignment is to secure a small coastal fort at the bank of the Potomac River. Your vanguard must hurry up and eliminate the Union batteries while the fort is lightly guarded. The Federals have been alerted and are gathering forces to block the river passage in front of you. So right here. Let's see. Additional enemy regiments have been spotted marching along this road. Advance fast and gain ground before the fort is reinforced heavily or else your task will be much harder. The rest of your troops will join you in about half an hour. Right, let's see. Can I stop here? Yes. The thing is, you have to move it up fast and I, this is the one that I already sort of test played and I actually failed taking the fort so it's not super easy. Or it's not like really easy to uh, take it. So there's a, there's a few differences uh, with this one compared with the other one. Um, obviously, we're gonna 
take a look at s some other stuff as as it goes along. But you got the character here. He can die. He can be wounded. There's a, there's a lots of stuff, interesting stuff there. But in general, it's pretty much it, it's it's similar. I just said there's a lot of stuff different, and then I say there's um, there's uh, oh there we go. Right. Um, you know what? I think and w you can change out muskets. And there's a lot of stuff, and they get abilities and uh, effect they uh, stuff and stuff. There's lots, lots. There's lots more details. That's what I would say. There's a lot more details in this. And there we go. There we. Are. There I am, Jedediah Longtree. And we can see that I've got 2,213 men. And we need to take that fort, and we need to take it fast, real fast. Um, so, since I already played this, I've already sort of built a little bit of a plan. You can go ahead and drag it just like you did before, but you can also go ahead and do this to sort of set them up. You can also, if you select multiple, I think you do, let's see, and then, yes, you can do like this. Or maybe not. Well, if you have two units, you probably shouldn't have them dance around like this but uh, in general you can sort of drag them like this or like this or maybe you could have do, do that in the other one I don't know uh, but one thing you c I don't think you could do with the other one is you can detach as we can see here I can detach skirmishers from these regiments um, they're actually first core, first division. Kemper's first core, first division. So they're not actually regiments. First core, first division. Or is where does it say what regiment they are? Hmm. Never mind that. Uh, anyways, we're gonna run into some skirmishers up ahead. So I want the skirmishers to go ahead, to scout ahead, on either side of this road. As the uh, the main units march up. So let's see. Do we, do we, is everyone marching? You are marching over there to stop someone coming over the bridge. You are marching forwards. You are marching over there. You are marching over there. You are marching over there. And Jedediah Longtree will follow up and will set up firstly here. Oh yeah, I forgot the cavalry. The cavalry will move across here as well and then come around so to avoid being shot. Right, let's go ahead and start this. Men, I am Jedediah Longtree and I will lead you to victory. I wish you could actually s maybe change the picture there. Your general provides valuable command bonuses to units inside his command radius, increasing the morale and effectiveness. Read more, general. So that's because of uh, the the guidance stuff I have on. So my troops are moving around, and hopefully this time around I will actually be able to block the units trying to get into the fort before they get into the fort. My horsemen have come under attack and. They have suffered some flanking casualties. We can actually go ahead and click on them and see how many casualties. 42 men were killed. But they are going to be able to give back again as these the skirmishers will move up and fire. The cavalry will now move like so. You will move to set up inside the village. Ranged attack is affected by equipment, the unit scale, but also the target distance, altitude, ground, and cover. It also... Ah, oh yeah, uh, weapons. The weapons equipped it, which you can go ahead and check. They continue to fire on my horses. I think they know how valuable they are, or how dangerous they are to these, these skirmishers. Yeah, the bastards are chasing my horses. Yet Dyer will stay close to support his men. I want the skirmishers to move up. Oh. Second Ohio. We ran into the second Ohio. Luckily, 
who managed to get away before the enemy did too much damage to us. I want you to continue and then I want these two to sort of split off and start marching on the enemy. Alright, how's it going over here? Push forwards a bit so you can actually see who you're fighting um, there on the bridge. Right, these skirmishers have, are moving out of the trees. They're now nice targets for me. Charge, men, charge! And you can see how many they start to lose. So the cavalrymen start winning. Right, the enemy actually moves to fight us. The... Uh, Ah, this unit has surrendered, which is a new thing. And now I can control them a bit. Taking prisoner is is good, because later on you can... Um, you can... Uh, what's it called? You can ransom them. Or you can exchange them for other people, or other uh, soldiers. Charge again! We've lost about 100 men among the horse, but they're uh, doing pretty well, I think. The Union troops are coming on. We're gonna need our skirmishers to take part. Ah, the Yankees seem determined to defend the fort. We've got reinforcements and supplies. Use them wisely, General. Well, the good thing here is that unlike last time, I have been able to stop the reinforcement units from actually reaching. Uh, we're gonna have this unit withdraw, just like it said in the... No! My horsemen were sent off. You will continue to harass the enemy there. I don't want them. Cavalry. The morale is not that good. Long tree will join them. See if that helps. Looks like we're winning over. Yeah, we're definitely winning over here. So there's no, there's nothing to do there really. Yadadaya will come and hey help Crocker. And we'll see about fighting off the skirmishers, getting rid of them. Not as good as uh, other charges, but there were trees and there's a fence in the way. Still, they've done well. And I'm trying to envelop these two units to make sure that they do not take any further part in this here battle. We want to stop them before they get into the fort, because otherwise taking the fort will be difficult. Very difficult. Uh, kills to death is good, and it's good for this one, and not so good for this one. But we'll see, we'll see. Right, these guys were sent off. And now Yedidaya will join in with the rest here. Sort of coming under fire here by the enemy. I believe you can actually... Can you dismount the horse? You can have them hold fire. Maybe it's spe specific to goon units. Anyways. Burn... Burn... Burnley. Burnley. We'll come around, we'll start to surround them, and Alan will continue to hold out there. And here's the cart that I was talking about. So we can go ahead and see the unit here, that the grey stuff here is the supplies. So they've made, they've used up about, um, say, not half, but say 40% of their, their shots. And so they might need some extra you know what I will have you join your uh, your mother unit again 
this unit... Ah, oh, if a unit officer's KIA or wounded in action suffers severe penalty during the battle. Read more. So he was wounded in action. Kemper was wounded in action. Not very good, but we have Jedediah just by there to support. Um, his skirmishers are quite far from the mother unit. Okay, now I want you to push, or maybe just go straight forward, yes. So right at this point we have lost 6.27%, 6%, 6%, we have lost 6% of our forces. Um, doesn't actually say how many the enemies lost, but I think... I for oh, I forgot to pursue the skirmishers over here. Let's see if we can find them. It doesn't matter that much if they made it back to the fort. I sort of wish that you guys would wheel a bit better on the enemy. I find that quite often that uh, they seem to start firing from strange angles, but... The enemy might just have made it back... Um, ...to the fort. I can see if I can move up maybe some skirmishers... ...or the horsemen... ...to take a look at the fort. Take a closer look at the fort. Oh, we got 3rd Ohio... ...trying to move away there. But they're gonna move straight into a volley. There's only a hundred men left of the, out of this unit. But still, if they start to run in great fashion, they've set up there probably quite a strong position. It's uh, gonna give them a lot of cover being there. Compared with being out in the field. But also there's a lot more of us. Right, I want you out there. I want you to start moving up. Start moving up. And you can start moving up as well. Yeah, the die will move up. Cavalry. I'm not entirely sure if it's, it would be advisable to have them charge the Ohio. They're regrouping maybe. We'll move back and uh, see what we can do. And yeah, they regrouped. They fired and we lost a few more men. I'm gonna set up here. It looks as though there is a bit of a crest through here. I haven't figured out yet how to see the sort of elevation on the ground yet. Which could be quite useful. We will continue to push these reinforcement units further, further and further away from the fort. Let's see if we can move you maybe like so. Have you move into this farm. We also have time, so um, we want to make sure that we get this done with pretty darn soon. This unit could possibly charge. Yeah, we're not doing a lot with just. Uh, with just firing. Let's see if we can give some more volleys at them. They, are, they seem to be in quite good cover here. They're taking very few casualties. We just fired. Charge, men! Charge! Can we have Siegfried's guys come back? They were fired upon, but they didn't lose a single man in that, sh that volley 
that the enemy gave us. These guys are exhausted. I was gonna send them in, the, these guys in as well, but that does not seem like a plan. Keep up the good work, lads. Pursue them. They are gone. Let's see, what time? We still have two, whatever that is, two. It's not two minutes. I'm not entirely sure what that timer is. It's a timer, but it, it tells its own time. Civil War time, that's what it gives. Right, let's see if we can charge this. Charge, men! Charge! And they're gone. Right. Let's reorganize ourselves along here. And I will move up the skirmishers. Move up here towards the farm to take a look. And Alan will also move up. Since we stopped those two units from coming up, there should only be those two batteries and then one unit, which is the first Ohio. So we should be able to just get in there easy and quick and uh, force our way up to the cannons capture them and Bob Zironko Alan is moving through the open ground and what he can do or what he can do he and his group can do Let's see if you can set up maybe over there and start maybe firing on these guys. What he can do is he can take up a position there on the wall. As the rest of my men continue forwards. It's going to take a while to get them through this ground. Are you able to fire from here? Hold this ground. Right, I want you to move over there. They have 37% uh, cover. Condition is good. Morale is dropping and their supplies dwindling. But I want this unit to take a position here. That might be a mistake. Maybe I should have them just charge the cannons. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, we're coming up over the wall. Canister, but it was ineffective. You can see them now setting up here on along the wall. Firing on the cannons. It might actually be more advisable to charge. The cannons just fired, so let's get at them before they are reloaded. Ah oh, crap, these guys are just gonna fire. Units, yeah, charge is strong tactical choice, clear an error from enemies due to its melee bonus. Charge also spend more condition than other action and makes your unit vulnerable to gunfire. So when you charge, you're gonna lose a lot more men. But as you can see, the cannons do not really stand a chance. And we took them out and we're gonna have to quick as quickly as possible get at these guns. We're losing loads of men here and we're being flanked. I want you guys to move. You cannot just stand there. Move, god damn it. I'm ordering you to charge. You're flanked. Which we do not like. And you're gonna break if you're gonna continue like this. Obey my order. 
Ah, there's a cooldown on the charge, that's why. Well, we can have you move into range of, uh, of the uh, enemy cannon. There we go. I don't need to enact the charge. Just need to get you into melee to stop the guns. Right. Oh. No, I want to select all the troops here. Get up to the front. Long tree will follow. Supply cart will follow. These guys need supplies. Alright, let's see if we can get you guys to come back here. Get into the defen defensive position. Looks as though the supply quarters here has been taken over by us. Which is good. The enemy is setting up along the wall. They're setting up there. We're going to be standing on the flag then. Aiming at the enemy. While this unit, this unit, is going to go ahead and take th this position while the others fire on these. Um, they're regaining some of the, the, their supply. And they're going to move in a s formation like so. And get, hopefully get at the enemy's flank. The flag is now contested. Confederate secure coastal fort. Continue forwards to the white picket fence. Supply guard will move up. Yet a dire will move up. The first Ohio has surrendered. Yet more prisoners are taken. Get our men inside of that fort. Get the supply cart in. And Jedediah will move in as well. And you will go ahead and retreat out of here. That means... How many men more? We took another unit. Prisoner. But I can't remember exactly how many that was. But um, we, we've taken about 300. Uh, 300 say 400 prisoners. Oh yeah, the cavalry. We need to get the cavalry into the fort as well. The fort is ours. I, uh, it looks as though we're waiting for time here to... Uh, there we go. Congratulations. You have secured the fort. Looking at the time, however, I think we're going to go ahead... And end it right here. But be rest assured that Jedediah Longtree and his first corps will continue on their fight here. I believe um, once we've actually taken the fort, we're going to have to defend it. Which is going to be the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed this. And hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.